In this part, we will talk about file compression. So let's take the following example. So here we have a file called notes.txt. Let's check the size of this file. So using the ls minus l option, we can check the size of this file and it, it has this size, right? Now there is a very practical command called gzip, right? And then we give it as an argument the file that we want to compress so for example this one and what happens is that notes.txt will be removed and it will be replaced with this compressed version okay so if we check now the size of this one we see that it's much smaller than the previous one now if you want to decompress this file to get the original one then there is a command called gunzip, right? So you have gzip to compress and gunzip to decompress. So we just give it as an argument this file, right? This compressed file. And what happens is that this one will be removed and it will be replaced with the original um, uncompressed file or decompressed file. Now let me um, compress again this file and use gunzip with the option minus L, right? And I give it here as an argument, this compressed file, right? So we compressed this file, so we got this. And now I'm using the minus L option with gunzip. So this will show us some statistics. So it will tell you that um, this file uncompressed is called notes.txt. And the compression ratio is this. So when the file is uncompressed, it has this size. And, with, and with, when it is compressed, it has this size. Okay. And let's use G unzip again without any option in order to decompress this file. So we get the original one back. Now there is another command which is equivalent um, to gzip, so it is very similar to gzip, and this one is called bzip2, right? So there is gzip and there is bzip2, and there is gunzip and there is bunzip2. Right? So you can use one or the other. So let's try this. Um, so again, let's use bzip2, and then we give it the name of the file. So what happens is that this file has been removed and it has been replaced with this compressed version, okay? So now this file has this, this small size. And you can use b unzip too in order to decompress the file, right? So now the file has um, its original size. And you can compress several files at once if you want. Um, so let's clear this. So if I want to compress, for example, um, those two files, you can do it in, with one comment. So let's use gzip, for example, here. So we give it notes.txt as an argument, and we give it another argument, test.txt, and we can add other arguments, but let's do just this. So we get this compressed version of notes.txt and this compressed version of um, test.py. Same thing with gunzip. Um, you can also use um, bunzip2 if you want, uh, and, G, uh, and uh, bzip2. So we give it those two compressed files and they will be decompressed. Okay, so there is a third uh, very practical command called zip, right, or utility called zip. And this one works a little bit differently from the previous ones. So let's do zip. And then the next thing we need to specify is the output. What is the name of the compressed file, right, that we want to create. So let's just call it um, for example, compressed.zip, 
You can give it any name here. Um, and then we want to compress one or several files. So let's say that we want to compress notes.txt and also let's say test.txt and some other files if we want. But let, let's just take those two. So we want to compress those two files into one file, right? Called compressed.zip. So we can do this. So we added those two files um, to this one, right? Okay, so we get this, this file compressed.zip. But the two original files are not removed, right? So there is just um, a new file that has been created, compressed.zip, and it contains um, the compressed version of those two files. If you want to compress um, the whole directory, for example, this directory documents.txt, then you can also do this with zip. And to do this, you need to specify the minus R option, right? Um, so let's call the output just something like this, this is foo.zip, right? Or let's call it doc.zip. And what we want to compress is this folder or this directory documents dot or, or documents, right? So by doing this, documents will be zipped. So what we get, so this folder will not be removed, but what we get is a compressed version of this folder, right? And it's called doc.zip. So if we want to check the content of this um, zipped, zipped file, then we can use unzip with the minus L option, just to show some um, the content, right? And then we specify this file. So this will show us that um, this zipped file contains all those um, those files here, right? And they are um, they are compressed. So this is called an, a compressed archive, right? We can do the same thing for this other zip file, this one. So this one contains um, lots.txt and test.py. And if we want to extract or unzip um, all this, this, um, this zipped file, then we can do unzip, right? So we want to decompress. And then we specify this, right? So I will not do that. And you can do the same thing for the other one if you, you want to decompress or to extract all um, the content of this into this directory. Okay. Or if you want just to extract a single file um, from this zip file. Right? If you want, for example, just to extract this one, then you can, you can do this, right? So you just do unzip and then, um, so within documents, we have, for example, host.conf, right? So by doing this, There is a, a mistake here. Um, sorry, I forgot to specify the name of the zip file from which we want to extract. So in this case, it's called doc.zip. So we need to specify this as the first argument. So from this one, we want to extract only one file, for example, host.conf, right? So we can do this. And now, since I have already a file within the documents directory called host.conf, it, it is asking me if we want, if I want to replace it. So I will say yes. Okay. And if you want to extract um, everything, so for example, I want to extract everything from this one, right? Then you just specify this. Okay, so for compression, you can either use zip or um, bzip2 or gzip.